All right, Alan, our team coverage continues tonight with most of Alabama's rivers nearing a crest this weekend. Property owners along those rivers are pretty worried tonight. NBC 15's James Gordon spent the day in Stockton in the community along the Tinsaw River. Tonight he has a closer look at the flooding and who it's affecting as the water closes in. If you've ever thought of buying waterfront property, well, it's for sale here at the Upper Bryant Landing. It's a popular place with permanent and part-time residents. And when it comes to flooding, they all take it seriously. Most of the houses here are on stilts like these, yeah. but because the land is so much lower here, so everything has to be built up more. Chris Richardson and Bruce Holmes are both from Mobile. Today they've come to inspect their second homes, houseboats both just feet away from being flooded. Everything along the upper Bryant Landing is built 18 feet or higher. The tensaw is expected to crest at right above 16 feet by Saturday. Where we're at, since we're floating, our concern is that the boat will stay in place because if it gets out of place, then you can have really terrifically bad things happen. We traveled about two miles south along the landing. You would never know there was a road beneath. When you've got an expensive houseboat, you're going to be concerned about it. Yeah, I'm always jittery until I get here and see that it's, that it's sitting level. And it was a sigh of relief for both of these men as they found their weekend getaways tied down and still floating. You can only guess when you're at home what's going on up here. Something's usually different when you come back because the river is so powerful and things will be moved. A way of life on the river, something people here deal with at least four times a year, twice in the spring and twice in the fall. Only this time, the water is at a 30-year high. Both Chris and Bruce walked away today knowing their homes were safe, and they say they'll be watching those river gauges all the way through Saturday when this river is expected to crest. In Baldwin County, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.